As the school year winds up, a lot of you will be thinking about the big move to high school, especially if you're going into year seven in South Australia next year. For the first time, they'll be starting high school instead of finishing their last year of primary, which is what happens in other states and territories. So we met some students to find out how they're feeling about the change and to get some advice about making the big leap to high school. Yep, starting high school is a big change. And like many of you, these year sixes have some questions. So who better to answer them than some year eights? Is it easy to make friends or is it um, hard? I really want to know because my friends are going to a different high school and um, I just don't want to be alone. We'll find people with, um, with common interests as you. So you might, be, you might be a sporty kid, you might want to find someone who plays the same sport as you. Um, or even video games or just art or anything like that. Finding people with common interests will help you get a lot of friends. I saw people that would look like they were sporty, so I'd go ask them, do you want to play this? And yeah, we ended up playing. Still got those friends now. There's so many people at the school, you're bound to find someone who has similar interests as you. How have they adapted to the new style of learning in high school? And how long did it take them? Having different classes all around the school, it's a really big campus and then going like upstairs and downstairs and back and forth for all your classes was really hard at first, but now I'm used to it and so everything's all good. It's hard at the start because you think, oh, I have to get to this class in time. Oh, I don't know, the teacher, she's going to be mad at me, I'm going to be late. But teachers aren't as mad at you. It's your first year of high school. How do you manage to uh, balance your, your high workloads with your social life and your free time? It was a bit tricky at first, it's quite a difference from how much work is in primary school. Like I remember I'd have, because I have the same teacher, I'd have like one assignment at one time, but when you get to high school we have lots of different classes. And so I just like to keep track of the assignments I have and when they're due, so I know I'm not falling behind. Sometimes I would be a little bit overloaded with work, but um, making sure I stayed on task um, in lessons and even using a lot of my um, outside time, that helped me quite a lot. How do you get through some hard times and what would you do? Just have some time off, go play outside with the dogs or play basketball so your brain can refresh. Some of the best people who have helped me through tough times are teachers and some older students. What are some key experiences you would have experienced so far in high school that may have been important to you? Uh, probably the year at camp down at uh, Victor Harbour. Um, it allowed me to make a lot more friends. I think there are a fair few camps you do get to do in high school and the swimming carnivals and athletics carnivals are much bigger and like a much larger scale experience so I really enjoyed that. What can you do at high school that you can't do at primary school? I've been able to play a lot more sports. I've had basketball year where primary school like it was just for PE like two weeks. Dance and music and all of the there's lots of art subjects and languages. It's a very broad variety of subjects 